and Van will get started uh, once we get some hands raised. And the first one will be uh, Ira Winderman. Sam, I apologize for sort of asking the same question over and over, but again, you guys fought the good fight tonight. You were there toward the end of a game. You had a chance. Can you take anything out of these and build towards something? Tyler's came on and told us how he still feels you're one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. So what do you take out of this, having been through all of these? Thank you. Growing pains, man. Uh, you know, it's growing pains. That's, that's all I can really say to you. Uh, <clears throat> we're trying to figure it out. You know, we're dying bodies. And uh, as you can see, playing as hard as we can, trying to get some win. Like I said, uh, just got to take one step in front of the other and uh, keep going, keep pushing, keep keep staying positive. You know, like I said before, the storm is over, but we keep pushing, we keep doing the things we need to do. I have a breakthrough and the sun going to come out. So we just got to stay positive. When you talk about just getting a guy like Tyler back, and especially a guy who missed seven straight games, and then to come in and do what he did, what does that say about him? And what does that say now that maybe if you turn a corner, he can do for you guys? Thank you, Bam. I mean, y'all seen what Tyler can do. There, there's no, I don't have to explain what he can do. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, coming back seven, so like you said, seven missed games and then putting his fingerprints on the game, it just means, you know, he, he, he wanted that win. You know, he, he didn't complain. He didn't say, oh, my neck hurt or, you know, this doesn't feel right. I'm out of shape. Uh, he just came in, hooped, you know, and tried to help us get a win. All right, next up, we have Josh Mosher with uh, WSVN TV. And yeah, I mean, I'm in the car. I got to go back to the TV station. I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, for the for the fans, 1,500 allowed in, Bam. Did, did you notice it on the floor? What was it like, you know, seeing the arena at 10% capacity? I mean, it just felt good to be have Heat Nation in there. Uh, Heat Nation, we're going to figure this out. Just bear with us. We're going to figure this out. Uh, I, I can promise them that we, we're going to figure this out. Um, you know, I know they're tired of seeing us lose. You know, we're tired of losing. And uh, we got to figure this out. <clears throat> Appreciate you. Thanks, Bam. All right, next up, we have Cristo Saltos. Hello, Bam. Now, as the leader of this team, how how is the atmosphere first of all, and uh, how you try to to help with, about the confidence wise, and uh, to to help your teammates to bring back in the winning streak? About how tough it was about the confidence that loss, and how you trying to help them, your teammates. I mean, a lot of dudes that are playing right now are young guys, including me, and. Uh, I, like I was looking around in the locker room today and we only had two two guys that were that are above three years that played today. So uh just just keeping them positive, you know, just just telling them, look, we're gonna have a breakthrough and you know our time is coming, we're gonna figure this out, we're gonna turn the season around. So, you know, for the young fellas, I just tell them keep staying positive. You know, I feel bad that they got to go through a season like this. We all do. So, you know, I just, uh, I'm going to keep nudging them to stay positive. You know, not to, not to look down, not to, not to put their heads down, man. Like I said, uh, at the end of the day, we all men. We got to look ourselves in the mirrors and we're going to figure it out. Up next, we have Anthony Chang. Hey, Ben, I know you've said um, a couple of times that UD, Spo, and, and some others have pushed you to kind of be more of a vocal leader. How, how much has this situation kind of sped up that process for you? And, and what has this experience been like in that role these next last few weeks? Oh, it's definitely sped up the process. It, it, it just, going through something like this is, is growing pain. So, you know, just going to the huddle I got to figure out what, what I can say or do or what type of example I can set to make a positive situation contagious to, to the young guys. And, uh, you know, that's just by saying little stuff, going to them one-on-one -on -one and just, you know, just, just telling them, just be patient because we're going to figure it out. And, uh, 
you know, this has been like, like UD told me the other day, you know, when I was frustrated at the end of the game, it was like, look, bro, I've been on the team where I lost 15 games. Well, I won 15 games, excuse me. And uh, <clears throat> hearing that, he was like, that. that's what molded me to be a leader. I'm not saying I want to only win 15 games. That's, that, I don't want that shit. But I am saying it's, uh, you know, going on this losing streak is, is definitely helping me figure out, you know, time, score, what to say, what to do, you know, how to approach somebody and uh, just keep just keep trying to bring them together and uh, lead this team. All right, Bam, that's it. Thank you. Black Lives Matter, people.